With AutoAttach, VS Code can automatically start debugging any node script that you run in the integrated terminal. This makes it super easy to start debugging without any configuration. Here, for example, I have a simple node script, and if I go in and run this in the terminal today, so I'll just say node index.js, you can see that it has run the program, but it did not actually start debugging. That is because AutoAttach is disabled. Once we enable AutoAttach, just running any node script, so doing node index.js in the normal integrated terminal, would start the debugging session and we'd have all of our debugging features available. To enable AutoAttach, first I'm going to open up my settings. So I'm going to say control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'm going to search for AutoAttach. And I want the debug JavaScript AutoAttach filter setting here. Again, you can see that AutoAttach is disabled by default. Now I'm going to go and set this to smart instead. And we'll talk about the other settings in a moment here. But smart is a reasonable default if you want AutoAttach to always be enabled. So I'll go back to the file here. And whenever you change the AutoAttach setting, you do have to relaunch the integrated terminal. So there's a little warning icon over here that will tell you about that. So I'll go and click on relaunch terminal here. And then I'll just run the same script again. So I'll say node index.js. And you can see that when I ran this now, because AutoAttach is enabled, we have actually started debugging this script. And we have hit the breakpoint. And all of our debugging features are now available. So we can go and step through the program. We can inspect variables. We could use the debug console. And again, no configuration was required. All we had to do was run node index.js down in the terminal. And VS Code detected we were running a node process. And it just started debugging it. So that's a quick look at the behavior of AutoAttach. Let's just quickly talk through the various settings for this. So again, smart is a reasonable default. What smart does, it tries to only attach to user scripts. So for example, index.js was a script that was stored in my directory. Smart will ignore scripts that are coming from the node modules folder. And these are often build scripts or that type of thing. So like Webpack, um, it makes sense to not attach to those in most cases. Always, on the other hand, will attach to every node script that is launched in the integrated terminal. So even things like build scripts would also be attached to. And then finally, only with flag would only attach to a process if you use the dash dash inspect flag. So that one's a reasonable default if you want auto attach to usually be disabled and only enabled by a specific action in the, when you're running the program. So that's a quick look at the auto attach behavior for VS Code's built-in JavaScript debugger.